Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Freddy Garcia. Today, we're joined by Dr. Norman Hoffman. Uh, Dr. Hoffman is a licensed chiropractic physician who's been practicing for 27 years and is currently practicing in Alberta, Canada. Uh, he specializes in complex cases. Uh, but back in 2011, he discovered functional neurology and became a board-certified chiropractic neurologist. He's also currently taking the uh, Master's of Clinical Neuroscience program uh, through the Carrick Institute, and he's graduating in December. And I just want you to understand, that is no small accomplishment. That program is insanely difficult, challenging, but very rewarding. Dr. Hoffman, thank you for joining us today. How are you doing? Excellent. Really excited to be here. Really stoked to be getting the program underway. Yeah. By the way, I got to bring up the Master's program. You must be so excited to be getting that almost done. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work, it's, uh, but so richly rewarding. I mean, un, unbelievable the amount of depth that you go into and, and just the levels that you can, you can pull out. And the way Dr. Carrick uh, has, has, has laid it out, it really helps you to just really dive really deep into stuff you didn't even know you were looking for. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited. Congratulations. I mean, it's going to be, be awesome to watch our peers and colleagues graduate from such a challenging but rewarding program. So again, that, that's very awesome. So Dr. Hoffman, we brought you on the video today because we are announcing a new class. It is the Mastery of Neurologic Motor Exam with you, Dr. Hoffman. It comes out March 18th through the 20th, so a three-day program. It's going to be held live in Cape Canaveral, Florida, and via internet live stream. And we're going to be recording it for online self-paced learning. So we have three different ways for people to attend. So a new program with you. This is fantastic. Uh, but let me ask you, right? The course is titled Mastery of the Neurologic Motor Exam. So what is the neurologic motor exam? Somebody's maybe hearing that term for the first time and going, hold on, what is this? So what, what is that? Can you share with us? Well, I mean, in short, you're, you're going to figure out what's going on with their nervous system by looking at the motor, motor outputs. So you're a lot of people are already doing a neurologic exam of some sort. Um, maybe you're looking at eye exam, maybe you're looking at, at posture, maybe you're looking at gait, maybe you're looking at balance and sway, uh, deep tendon reflexes. Those are all aspects of the, of the motor exam, but ultimately there's a huge portion that might be missing. Like 70% of the, the motor exam can be looked at with uh, muscle testing, manual muscle testing. And that's what we're going to focus a lot of it on. It's not the whole thing, but it is a lot of it. We're going to be, of course, backing that up with all of the research and the science and the literature that supports it. But we want to make sure that the clinical skills are in the clinician's hands to be able to do it, to be able to interpret it, understand what they're doing, and then, and then guide their treatment from it. Right. And that's one of the things we kind of teach in some of our care consumer coursework. A lot of this neurologic exam, you're looking at motor output. That's the only thing that you can kind of see. That's what you're looking right? at. Yeah, absolutely. But, but I mean, you are right. There is a component of uh, the manual muscle testing that we don't go into as, as much as we should. So let me ask you, what's the type of information that this motor exam, the way we'll be teaching it at this program, what, what does that tell you? Yeah, so some of the really exciting stuff is to be able to look at the patient, be able to do this, this motor exam and be able to know what is the longitudinal level of the lesion in, with real good uh, accuracy. So you can look at this and say, is this a cortical? Is this a brainstem? Is this a cerebellar issue? Is this something that's more peripheral? Is it, you know, is this a joint muscle issue? Uh, and even is it, is there a, a circulatory issue in that? We can look at those kind of aspects. And one of, uh, I know we've talked about this a little bit, one of the most exciting things to be able to look at whether or not this uh, pattern that you're seeing, uh, and Dr. Carrick is famous for saying this, you don't know if this one is the weak one or is the other one the strong one. And so we're going to look at this and say, is this side the one that's down or is the other side wound up? And to be able to show you a really quick uh, piece of information that you can use. And now you know whether or not you've got to bring this side down or the other side up. Yeah. I, I, so what I started seeing the curriculum was come, come across the, the faculty's desk. I was like, this is going to be really exciting to a lot of people because now you can use a tool like muscle testing along with the other components of the, mo the motor exam and start getting that real specific, am I a brainstem issue? Am I looking at a cerebellar issue? What are those patterns? And then you kind of get, you start triangulating where you're supposed to be focusing. So this is gonna be, I think, very exciting to a lot of scholars. Uh, let me ask you another question, Dr. Hoffman. Uh, what audience is this program for? Like who are the type of people that are, are maybe watching this video right now and saying, hold on, I should really consider jumping into this. Who are those people? 
Yeah, well, there's probably three main audiences who are going to really want to grab hold of this program. There's going to be the people who are already doing manual muscle testing, but they're doing it from a biomechanical perspective. They don't necessarily understand the full neurology behind it, and they really aren't looking at that whole picture, getting right up into the brainstem and the cortex. We want to be able to give those guys some, some real information to integrate that, that neurology into what they're already doing. Then there's, of course, the AK muscle testers that are out there. They're doing some, some good work, having some, some good success, but again, they're maybe lacking some of that neuro information. This will really add a layer to, to what they're doing to be able to really go uh, further and deeper into that central nervous system. And then, of course, there's the functional neurologic docs. They're already out there, and they're doing all of the stuff, and they're doing all this neuro exam, and they just want to want to elevate their exam to another level and really uh, hone those diagnostic skills and get another level deeper with all of this stuff. And they're going to they're going to see some really great things open up for them so they can get real specific about what's going on with this patient, uh, finding out where that lesion is. And then even what um, therapies, what what uh, clinical simulations can actually be used on that patient safely, accurately. Um, you know, so if somebody's got a, a cortical issue and you say, okay, I'm going to do some saccades with them, or I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do a cerebellar crossover to it. We can help them identify which ones of those types of opportunities are going to be the best for that particular patient. Yeah, I, I think, you know, the first two audiences you mentioned, uh, either the, the manual muscle testers or the AK muscle testers, I think they're going to be blown away by what you're presenting because right off sure. the bat, they're going to, this is like a whole new world for them. But I think what also got me really excited was that third audience, the people who are already doing that functional neurology paradigm, who are, are maybe even struggling a little bit with the nuances of looking at eye movements and vestibular exam and trying to understand how that all means, you're going to give them some, uh, some gross things to look at in the sense of, hey, here's a muscle exam, and we're going to teach them, uh, from what, I, from what I've, I've been seeing, is you're going to teach them a flow to be able to go through that'll, that'll make things a little easier to see because it's muscle testing, right? And we all tend to be very manual people, right? So this should be within the wheelhouse of, of things that we can do and interpret with a, a little better ease than uh, maybe an eye movement, which does take some time to get good at, right? Like that's a, that's a reality. It, absolutely. Maybe not everybody's Dr. Carrick. Maybe they're having a little hard time seeing some of the subtler stuff. And this kind of brings it out a little bit easier. It's a little bit like bigger for them to see. It's just a little more in your face, uh, a little more, you know, uh, positive, negative, a little bit more easier to see. Yeah, that, I think that's going to be very exciting. So, uh, Dr. Hoffman, I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but let me ask you, what is the what is the big outcome you're trying to create? What do you want to be realized for clinicians that are attending uh, this brand new program with the Carrick Institute? What, do you, what are you trying to do? Well, ultimately, I just want to elevate everybody's clinical skills. I want to bring them to the next level so that their, their examination skills, their diagnostic skills, and even being able to know really which therapeutic interventions to go in is appropriate for that patient. All of that stuff just comes up to the next level. Uh, there's so much that we can glean and utilize from that motor exam, and it's just really time to raise that bar for the clinicians. And, and when you come away with it, you want to be good at it and be able to do that complete head-to-toe neurologic motor neurologic exam in five minutes. We can evaluate all the brain, brainstem, cerebral structures, all the peripheral, upper extremity, lower extremity, under five minutes. That's going to be huge. I, I think a lot of people want to get involved in more neuro type work, and they're afraid of not of adding something that's going to take a lot of time. So the fact that you have a flow of this neurologic motor exam that can be done in five minutes, you're going to teach a way to recognize those patterns because a lot of it is patterns based and what yep. it really means. And again, am I looking at brainstem, peripheral nerves, spinal cord, cerebellar, cortical, which aspect of cortical, the fact that you can do this in five minutes, I think that alone is going to be super exciting. It's got me excited about it. I loved what I've seen come across my desk. Dr. Carey's been excited about this coming across this desk. And I know you worked very closely with him actually because of the master's degree program, right? So like, this Absolutely, is kind of like, yeah. this is kind of like a baby born out of all the work that you've done during that, that program. Absolutely. Absolutely. But and him I and I've had long conversations about this, this course, and he's helped me really, you know, hone right in on it, make sure that it's real focused and targeted for people. And, and I'm really excited to bring it out for people. People. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. I, I can't wait to see what comes, what else comes out of you, but also all the scholars that are, have done the master's degree program, because they're really 
you're looking at the future of functional neurology. And, and I want to applaud you for your first of a few contributions to functional neurology. Oh, yeah, we neurology. got some good stuff coming. Yeah, it, it only actually gets better. So Dr. Hoffman, thank you so much for your time today. So everybody watching at home, the new program being announced is Mastery of the Neurologic Motor Exam with Dr. Hoffman, the amazing Dr. Hoffman. Comes out March 18th through 20th of 2022. So it comes out in next year. Going to be in Cape Canaveral, Florida, internet live stream, and we'll eventually put it out uh, via online self-paced learning. Dr. Hoffman, thank you for your time for, uh, today. Thank you very much. To everybody at home, Fantastic. visit karakitsu.com. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, Dr. Hoffman.